from your point of view, man, you being a bodyguard for Puffy, because you got a whole lot of people out here that got an opinion on when the tension started between Bad Boy and Death Row. Some people believe it started when Suge Knight's friend Big J got killed in Atlanta by somebody that was affiliated with Puffy. But I want to ask you, from your point of view, you being a bodyguard for Puffy, you being on the Bad Boy side, when do you think the tension started between the two, Death Row and Bad Boy? Well, I'm going to say... Some of the tension probably started when Jake got killed, but it really happened when uh, Puff and Suge had a little beef about some party shit. And but the the to top it off, I believe is when um, Misa went there to do some work for Suge them, and Suge put that shit in the magazine saying that what the East Coast won't take care of, the West Coast will. And he was hugging Misa while she had Justin in her arm, and that was the title. You know, it was no going back from that uh, to try to deal with Suge or, or be his friend or be cool with him. And then when Pac got out of jail, that just went to a whole nother level. You know, it seemed like they just put the batteries in his back and... Pac was going to go after them and try to destroy Bad Boy. The incident, the incident that happened with Shine and Puffy. Were you working for Puffy at that time when that incident happened? The shooting? Yeah. So what exactly happened with that incident, my man? Well, we had the day off. Puff and Jennifer Lopez was in the Hamptons. And they were supposed to be taking some kind of, I think, a Mediterranean tour. They had rented a boat, and they was going on a tour. Puff gave us the day off. I was happy because Friday, Saturday, Sundays are my day. So, Wolf is at a party. I think it's the show. They call it the show. Puff come all the way from the Hamptons. And anybody know if you're in the Hamptons, that's anywhere from an hour, 45 minutes. It could be a two-hour drive on that type of day from for traffic. Easy. So Wolf told me that he's telling Puff, yo, to stay there. Man, stay in the Hamptons. You with your girl, man. Y'all finna go on a trip. Puff just had to come. So they get down there. So I'm getting a phone call talking about, yo, Gene, Puff is coming back from the Hamptons. Blase, this is like that, man. All that shit went to voicemail. So I, you know, I'm listening to my, my messages and shit like that. And they telling me that I got to come to come back to work, but he's coming in, coming in from them. I oh, mean, I ain't even picked that shit up. You understand? So... From my understanding is that everybody goes there, Wolf, a couple other security personnel, Puff shows up with Jennifer, then Shine come in. They beefing with some dudes who had a certain part of the bar. So when Puff comes, he takes over the bar and put bottles, lines it up with bottles as he doing, you know, showing. So the dude came over to Puff and said, nigga, we got money and threw the money in Puff's face. And that's when the shit broke out. Crazy, man. But if I'm not mistaken, just out of curiosity, Shine and Puffy had the same charges though, right? So how did Puffy get off and Shine ended up doing all that time? Because that never made sense to me, man, how Shine ended up doing all that time, but everyone else ended up getting off. Never made sense, man. Well, all three of them had the same charges. Wolf, Sean, and Puff. And Sean may notice they came to Sean and they asked Sean for 20 racks because they had somebody that was going to make sure all of them got off. Because they was not going to agree to none of those charges. And they were on the jury stand. They was on the jury. 
Sean may not admit to it, but he knows that to be true. This came from Wolf. So now, the reason they got off was people was coming to Bad Boy Security, Paul and other people, and said that they were there. So they were giving them the DA's um, and the lawyer's card and tell them to go make a statement. And some of those people who were making statements, they was making statements against Sean. Yo, bro, listen to me. Y'all hearing it from me, but Sean said it himself in his interview. You supposed to be my brother, and you got people testifying against me? Those people were testifying. They were brought to Puff first, saying that they what they saw against Sean and what they saw Sean do. The DA didn't even know those people existed. You understand what I'm saying? Sean said it himself, y'all. But okay, y'all gonna y'all gonna say, "Oh, Big Gene is telling it." What I, what I, what I'm snitching, right? 